hey, check this out. That, that's gold diamonds right there. That's got, uh, I think, 14K. I can't see it. It does have a marking. It is gold. I can tell you it's gold. Well, hitting the road again today. Headed out back to the lakes. I'm going up to two lakes today that I uh, haven't hunted all season so far. So I really don't know if anybody's really been hunting these two lakes. They're kind of uh, kind of out of the way area. They're about an hour from my house, but uh, they're not real big lakes, but uh, very well uh, swam swimming areas. And so hopefully going to find something, you know, here lately it's been kind of so hot here in Texas. Not many people have been getting out and, and swimming. So there's not a lot of stuff to find, but I have been on a, a gold chain roll in my last two previous videos. I've uh, found those two gold chains and that one was a real heavy chain. And so uh, I'm in that gold fever right now. I want some more gold. So hopefully I'll find some today and uh, on this video anyway. So I've got about another 45 minutes to drive. So you guys sit back and y'all just enjoy the show. out the lake I didn't find anything at that other two uh, lakes that I hit so I decided to come out this evening and brave the heat I haven't been doing a lot of metal detecting because we've just been in an excessive heat wave here in Texas as I was driving to the lake today it was 108 it's 105 right now and uh, so with the excessive heat people are not coming out to the lake as you can see in the parking lot behind me not very many cars are back there so not a lot of rings are dropping so it's going to be later on probably after labor day before things pick back up and once school starts here in texas here in about two weeks mid-august uh nobody really comes to the lake after that so season may be early ending a little early but anyway i'm gonna come out here hit this for an hour and see what we can come up with so let's see what we can get I got my first good find here. It's ringing up like a uh, 68. And I mean a 40, I forgot what it was ringing up. It's a stainless steel ring. Looks like a tungsten ring, but I think it's stainless steel. It's ringing up a little bit lower in the 40s, I believe. I couldn't see it was underwater. But uh, anyway, that's a sign that there's some stuff out here. So let's keep swinging and see what else we can get. Well, check that out. Preacher Digger got his cross. So it's an episode. All right, that's number two find. I'm out about, about, about mid chest deep water. And uh, let's keep looking, see what else we can get. Got another 
little necklace right here. It's a ace of spades. Uh, looks like part of a necklace. We get in the sunlight there, you might can see a little bit better. Bring it up like an 80, 79 to an 80. Kind of like a copper penny would. All right, let's keep uh, working the deep end, work ourselves up to the shallow, see if we can find any rings. Only got that one. Uh, so there's some re there's some targets out here, not a whole lot, but uh, it's worth hitting here and going real slow and checking it all out. So let's keep on going. Let's see if we can't get some more gold. Well, not too far away from that uh, ace of spades, I got this blinking, winking, uh, smiley face necklace. It's uh, ringing up as a 66, so it's not going to be silver. But hey, it's something. All right, let's keep swinging, see what else we can get. Well, a little surprise ring here. I was getting a 43. It could be stainless. It could be, it could be gold. It's got it's too small for markings for me to see. I'm hoping it's gonna be a white gold, but uh, we'll see. Uh, well, we'll uh, by the time you're watching this, you already know what it is. All right, let's keep going. There's still some stuff out here. Hey, check this out. Uh, that's gold diamonds right there. That's got, uh, I think, 14K. I can't see it. It does have a marking. It is gold. I can tell you it's gold. And this is just about two foot from that other other ring. This is ringing up as a 46. Uh, you can see the marking right there. So I'll be curious to see what this is going to be. All right. That's two, three rings. Two right here together. And I haven't even started. I'm, just still, I'm still chest deep. I haven't even got to the shallow yet. All right, let's keep going. Well, I made it out to the lake today. Got a late start, but nobody's been out here. And got my first ring, it's an eternity ring. I think it's ringing up at 48. I think it's just gonna be stainless steel. Could be white gold, but we'll find out here in a minute. So let's keep swinging, see what else we can get. Well, here's ring number two, another stainless steel. Seems like that's all I find these days. I've gotten a couple of rings like this, but it's ringing up as a 50. But I'll take anything. All right, that's two rings in the first uh, 15 minutes, so maybe there's more out here. So let's keep a swinging. Maybe there's a big gold out here. Out here in chest deep water, getting a real jumpy 65. I got a, it may be silver, and it's jumpy because it's not connected ring. Uh, I have to look inside, but it says Atlanta and Colin on it. So, another ring, number three for the day. I'm gonna keep working out here to my chin and work back up into the shallow and move on to a couple more lakes today. So, let's see what else we can get. Nice, nice find. I'm getting a 45 here. I'm only about uh, a little, about thigh deep water. I can see it right there. Can you see it in the water? Yeah, bring it 
like a 44, 45. It's going to be a stainless steel, stainless steel spinner ring. All right. Not much. Seems like all the kids today, they wear stainless steel and tungsten and all the gold and silver. There's not that much, but I can't complain. I just found a gold and possibly a, two golds. So check that out. All right. Let's keep on making another pass through here and let's go about waist deep. That's kind of where everything really is. And let's see if we can find something at that depth. back out the lake again today it's getting anywhere from a 68 to an 80 and I almost gave up on it because I couldn't scoop it up on this hard surface but it ended up being a uh, I think a tungsten carbide ring so check that out all right if there's one there's got to be more right let's keep swinging and see what else we come up with let's get a 79 to an 80 and it's very small and a little necklace. It's going to be like, uh, I think Winnie the Pooh. It uh, says Sterling on the back. So if it's Sterling, it's going to be vintage. Sterling usually goes from like 1973 and before. I think somewhere around 1973 is when they begin to stamp 925. And so, hey, I'll take a little piece of silver. All right. Let's uh, work in the shallow water now. So let's keep working the shallows and see what we come up with. Moved on to a new lake and just got out here. Got a real scratchy 58 to a 66, and ended up being a, a chain. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be precious or anything. But anyway, it's a nice little butterfly necklace. I'll see on the clasp if it's gold or not. And post it here on the screen. I don't think it is. All right, let's uh, keep on moving. Let's see what else we can get. Well, I made it in from the lakes today. It's been a pretty good week. Uh, pretty hot though, 108, 105. Today it was pretty cool out there in the lake. It was only about 100 degrees today with some cloud cover and I'll take that any day. But I uh, had a pretty good time. Not as many things as I would like, and, you know, not as much gold I was like, but I did find some gold. But I had a good time anyway. I had a great time getting out in God's creation, just finding some good treasures. So let me uh, turn you around. Let me show you what I found this week. All right, here's all my aluminum. Some type of My Little Pony thing. Here's all my steel, some uh, frames off of glasses, a little vape pen, aluminum caps, bottle caps, beaver tails, got the uh, square pull tabs, lots of fishing weights this time, lots. And this is all out of the swimming area. Man, can you imagine stepping on that? Uh, look at that. Step on that in the swim area. Oof, that'll hurt. Anyway, here's uh found a couple of dinosaurs. They were just laying on the bottom, so I picked them up and gonna give them to my grandson. He's into dinosaurs. Uh we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 pennies. We got uh, six nickels, we got five, ten, twelve dimes, and we got uh four, eight, twelve, sixteen, eighteen quarters. So quite a bit of change this time around. I got uh, a little hair bow. It's not precious or anything, not uh, uh, silver. Some type of old, this was an old, old ring, man. That's been in the water a long time. But uh, it's just old junker thing. Found a home key. Found some other type of key to something. Here's my bracelets. I found another one of those uh, Catholic bracelets. And then another uh, bracelet with faith and a heart on it and a cross on it. Uh, here's my earrings. I got one stud, two. I thought those were gold at first, but uh, they're not gold. But I found them in the same scoop. Them up in the same scoop. Uh, this one here is silver, though. That's a pretty earring. It is marked silver on it. I don't think it is on that side, but I think it is on one of these sides. Yeah, it's on that side. Nine two five. Anyway, I got an ace of spades, a smiley face, winking star. I got a turtle. And a Winnie the Pooh, which this is silver. 
It has sterling marked on the back of it. Here's my necklaces, some type of little chain. It's been in the lake quite a while. And a butterfly necklace. And then here are my rings. I got eight rings this time around. I got an aluminum ring. It says, uh, I think it's, forgot what her name was. Allison or, Al, or something in Colin. I got stainless steel rings. Got four of them. That is actually like a baptism. It's got uh, the baptism date of the, when they became a Christian on the inside of that in there. I got one tungsten carbide ring. Got it today. It's a pretty one. Then I got two 14 karat golds. This is a James Avery 14 karat eternity ring. I thought it was a silver or a stainless steel when I first took it out of the water. But it is 14K. And then I got that. I was hoping that was going to be a real diamond, but it's just a CZ. But it is 14K. So I did get two pieces of gold there and eight different rings. And so had a pretty good time. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a lake and metal detect and put on your tailgate and shoot a wrap up. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.